Hi there. In the previous section, in one of the videos, we had discussed the usage of cached thread pool. At that time, as we had not yet covered thread naming for executors, I could not show you that the threads in the cached thread pool are reused internally by the executor when appropriate. This video is part 2 of that tutorial. In this video, we will witness that the threads in the cached thread pool are indeed reused. Now, I already have the class ready with me here. The only thing that we need to do here is to give an instance of a thread factory to the new cached thread pool method so that the threads can be named. If you remember, we had created the named thread factory in the previous tutorial by implementing the thread factory class. We are going to use an instance of the same named thread factory class here. Now initially we are giving the executor three tasks to run. So theoretically three threads should be created by the cached thread pool to run them. Then we wait for 15 seconds in the main thread so that all the tasks complete. Afterwards, we again submit five tasks to the executor service. At this time, as all the previous tasks must have finished, we expect that the three previously created threads should be reused to run tasks four, five, and six. And for tasks seven and eight, two new th threads should be created by the pool. So in all, there should be five threads created by this pool with names from mythread1 to mythread5 to execute our program to completion. So let us run this class now. The program is running. Let us wait for it to complete. Okay, it has completed. Let us analyze the output now. So we see that three threads have been created initially by the pool to run the initial three tasks. My thread one, my thread two, and my thread three. The three threads run the three tasks to completion right about up till here. Here the thread 1 is done and the thread 3 is done and the thread 2 is done. So after that we submitted uh, 5 more tasks from task 4 to task 8 and as expected tasks 4, 5 and 6 are being run by the same 3 threads that executed the first 3 tasks that is my thread 1, my thread 2 and my thread 3. Whereas for tasks 7 and 8, two new threads have been created with names MyThread4 and MyThread5. So this is as expected. This proves that the threads in a cached thread pool are indeed reused when they are available. That's all for this tutorial. Thanks for watching.